one of these insightful lectures entitled A Journey to Malaga, Part 8 of 9, on Between Master and Disciples, given in English and Spanish on October 1, 2006, in Malaga, Spain. Alguna otra pregunta? Master, yesterday morning you were telling us uh, how we have to become more humble and get rid of our ego, and I understood all that. But I wondered if you had some tips about how we actually do that. If you're working in the world and you're in a, a situation where the ego is always coming to the front, how how do we actually go about suppressing it? Um, actually, if you don't have to try too hard. Yeah. En realidad no tienes que intentarlo muy duro. It also come with the inner realization that we are are one. Viene eso viene con la eh, dándonos cuenta internamente de que todos somos uno. And that uh, in any way in the past lives we might have offended someone. Y, y dándonos cuenta también de que en las vidas pasadas podríamos haber ofendido a alguien. Which is a part of our one togetherness self el cual también es una parte de nuestro yo mismo de, nos, de nosotros mismos so if that particular part of our togetherness self want to correct it is all right así que si esa pequeña parte de, del, del todo que formamos nosotros eh, quiere corregirlo pues está bien is all ourselves es también nosotros mismos okay okay suppose Suppose yesterday you bang yourself into some stone and bleeding over here. Imagínate que ayer te golpeas con una piedra y te hace sangrar en el codo. Uh, and then you, after, you fix it a little bit, but it's not complete. And then you went to sleep, you forgot all about it. Imagínate que quieres curarlo, pero no está curado del todo y te vas a dormir y te olvidas. Next morning you wake up. The eye see the still bruise and bleeding again. So on the other hand, put some bandage on it, and it hurts. Sometimes the antiseptic stings. You know, it's uh, hurt your skin and hurt your wound. Entonces, cuando te despiertas, eh, la otra mano eh, lo nota que está ahí sangrando y que se ha hecho un, un morado. Entonces, coge antiséptico y lo cura, y, y eso a veces escuece. But it helps. It will help, and in the long run, it heals your wound. Pero lo que es cuece cura y eh, eh, con el tiempo eso curará tu herida. ¿Verdad que no le echarías la culpa a la mano izquierda por curarte la herida con el antiséptico que te duele y que te fastidia? Would you blame the eyes that are seeing the whole body and tell the hand to help? ¿Y echarías la culpa a los ojos que ven todo el cuerpo y que le han dicho a la mano izquierda que ayude en la herida? No. No. The eyes is the all-seeing of your lives, many lifetimes. Eh, los ojos eh, son lo que ven todos los seres de todas tus vidas. The hands is the law of karma that work through different people to addressing, to address the wrong of the past y la mano and make it better. La mano izquierda es la ley del karma que actúa quizá a través de otras personas para que curen tu herida y que te pongan mejor. Now you understand? ¿Lo entiendes yes, ahora? Thank you. All right. <laughs> no complain. <laughs> Just no. always polite and try to try to accept the situation or try to make better later on or immediate in some diplomatic or good way if you can. If not, just accept it. Eh, nada de quejas. Eh, siempre amablemente tratar de aceptar la situación y, y pasar a través de ella de la mejor forma posible. Yeah, just overcome the mind, yes. Just... Y yes. Yeah. It's uh, very difficult, but uh, at least if you get into that situation again, you remember the bandage. <laughs> okay? It's easier to remember when I have a, a concrete example. Es, es, sé okay. que es muy difícil, pero cada vez que estés en una situación así, recuerda lo del vendaje. Es un ejemplo muy concreto que te ayudará. Yeah. It's all in the universe. <laughs> Está todo en el universo. Okay. Also, even if the negative power attack you through that person, it will not harm you in any way. 
Aunque el, will only boost you up. Aunque el poder negativo te ataque directamente a través de otra persona, no te puede hacer daño de ninguna forma, simplemente te va a elevar. It's only make you greater. Solo te va a hacer más grande. It's like the fertilizer. Es como el fertilizante. Glorify the roses. Eh, que hace eh, florecer las rosas. And the digging of the farmer and the weeding and the trimming it will only glorify the flowers. Y el, el trabajo del granjero de podar y de cavar simplemente van a hacer que las rosas florezcan mejor, glorificará las rosas. Okay. <laughs> right. Next one. Yes. As I have told you already, yeah. we have two things that trouble us. Yeah. The karma from the past and the negative power. I yeah? Do. Both of them are always chasing after us, no matter where we hide, no matter what we do. Cualquier, so, cualquier cosa que hagamos, hay dos cosas que siempre están detrás de nosotros, que es el karma y el, el poder del negativo. You don't want no more? No, if you want to talk more, you just talk. Si quieres hablar más, habla. So, so, um, for example, feeling bad and feeling God is my person. Is there a way for me helping with mine? That I'm also not. Can you give me a... Uh, uh, advice? Advice? Yeah. You can feel that. Yeah, so that a lot doesn't go away again. Wow. 
Kevin, please. What did your parents do that make you feel unloved? Tell me. ¿Qué hicieron tus padres para que no te para que no sintieras cariño? No, they just say nonsense, but they love you. So your parents, uh, your father loves you or not? And my grandma, she when I went to the yeah, I understand. Um, Cemetery. I saw the little graves, and yeah. I asked my grandma why their graves are so little, and she uh -huh. said they're children. Uh -huh. And she said God took them with him to uh -huh. the angels because he loved them so much. Uh -huh. so then, I, then I hoped God would take me. Uh -huh. And you know, I, I'm still alive, and uh -huh. I grew up and grew up, and he said he didn't want me. Ah. Yeah. Sometimes the parents, they say nonsense. They don't realize how much it affects you, because they have problem in their adult life or in their marriage, so they don't have nobody else, they just put on the children. And that's the only thing, they don't mean it. The, the, the mother has problem, you see, because she has an, an unhappy marriage, and then she just put it on you, okay? But she loves you. No mother ever cannot don't love the children, believe me, yeah? No matter how, the, their child is the most beautiful child, in the world, but they have problem controlling their emotion and what they say. Some yeah. people have bad language, some people have bad mouth, some people are more diplomatic, some people are more considerate, some people less considerate. So perhaps your mother was less considerate, but doesn't mean she doesn't love you, you have to see it through. How often sometimes you're angry with your partner and you say some nonsense, yeah. I wish I'm not with you, you get lost. You know, don't ever come back again, but you miss him, no? Yeah. Is that not true? It's all the same with your mother. When the emotion is too, too, too bottled up, you know, too pressure, and then they say anything just to release themselves. So, is your mother still alive? Yeah, but it's, the problem's not my mother, because I'm, I'm through with it, you know, without yeah. hate, without... And, yeah, no, 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 it's not it's, that. It's, the feeling I've got from uh, as I was a child. Yeah, I know, I know. You know and now I'm grown up, grow up, and then with you God, the head, it's uh -huh. okay. Yeah. It was Janssen, but the heart is a little bit. Yes. <laughs> the heart. It's a little bit difficult. It's a little bit difficult. Yeah. Perhaps there must uh, be something to do with the past life. You know. I tell you what. Um, just try to be more loving then, instead. You give love instead of wanting love, then you will have plenty. Do you have a dog, by the way? Pardon? Do you have a dog? A cat. I love, I love animals, but I've got a cat. A cat. A cat is different than a dog. dog is more loving. Hmm. Cat is more independent. They're loving, but more independent. You don't feel... Well, my cat is lovely. Okay, then it's fine. So your heart is... Uh, you feel unloved by God, huh? But why do you feel like that? Only when you have problem, right? <laughs> we all do that. Sometimes we stamp our feet, say, why don't you love me? Why you make trouble for me like this? That's okay to say that. It's okay to blame God, He doesn't care. But continue to do better next time. And okay, just say to God, okay, if you love me, fine. If you don't love me, fine. I survive. Okay? That's how we do it. Do you think I always feel loved by... Everybody? No. No, but I still have to love them. Even parents, friends, lovers, they, they're all still human. Yeah? Anybody who still lives in this world, even though he's on fifth level, he still has to experience this up and down of emotion and the feeling of wanted or unwanted all the time. It's the mind only, it's not your heart. Just the maya make you think that way. And just the experience of childhood, which when you were too young, you do not understand between the love and the different mood of the parents. And because you think the parents don't love each other, and then you translate it. Of course, if the parents love each other, the child feel affected, feel okay, secure. And the parents, parents don't love each other, then it's bad. That is also the problem. And when you were young, you, you don't know how to deal with it. You're too young, yeah? And you feel very uh, perplexed and conflict. But I think 
uh, there's no need to carry it into adulthood. Now, instead of wanting love, try to give love. Huh? Try to give love. Even if you don't feel having love, just give it and then... I feel like a lot of love. Yeah? So. Then give. Give it. Like go out and help the homeless people. Yeah. Visit the orphanage. And yeah, even just a few candies to, to the kid, a chocolate or cake, you know. Um, the good one, good candies, <laughs> healthy one. <laughs> Over here, it's not good, but you don't eat a lot, so it's all right. Once a while, you know. If they eat one or two candy, it doesn't hurt much. Or teach them, if they ask, them que they ask you a question, teach them what, what, um, what you know. Yeah? It's not just the kindergarten, but the bigger children uh, who can more fulfill your, your uh, satisfaction of being a teacher. Yeah? Like you go to orphanage and see what they want to ask you, and you answer them. You take your cat with you and let them strike her, the cat, and show them the love of the animals, and uh, just fill your time with love, fill it with love. It's very difficult to live alone and to feel love. You have to give the love. Maybe you have too much love. <laughs> you must go out and give it, so that you feel more fulfilled, more satisfied. Try that. How about that? And just, just keep, keep in mind that love of God is not always for the mind to understand, really. Yeah? If God has not loved you, you wouldn't have been here. Yeah? <laughs> and you look so beautiful. <laughs> Blue eyes and blonde, pinky, you know, makeup, and still beautiful. That is the love manifest. You see? Yeah? Don't keep looking the, for the feeling. It manifests in different way. Yeah? I don't know if all of you feel I love you or not, but I do. Yes. I've been looking for a place since February to see you, because I know you want to see me. Maybe you don't, but <laughs> I, maybe I interpret my own feeling, like I want to see you and I think you want to see me. <laughs> Who knows? But uh, even if you don't want to see me and I want to see you, that means I love you. So I've been looking for the place for many months. I still do, but even before I came here. But I always think in my head to find a place for you to can come anytime you want, you see? Not just a retreat like this, but some place free. And sometimes I sit there and dream, ah, oh, if I have a country, huh? the whole country. <laughs> <laughs> like a free country, you know? Initiate passport, just stamp it, <laughs> stamp it on the, uh, on the ID card, uh, you know? <laughs> the visa on the ID card, permanent visa. <laughs> yeah, for the good and the bad, you know, the meditate a lot and the lousy, lazy one. <laughs> All visa, you know? I, I, sometimes I sit and dream like that. But this world is really horrible. Uh, sometimes really very much pressure for me, you know. The law and the regulation, it doesn't give me easy, believe it. Financial problem is not the, the, it's not the worst of all worry. You know, freedom is the best. You know, freedom to see whom you want and talk what you like, as long as it's not harmful to people. People should be able to, to gather in any place without having to worry about uh, police or regulation or registration and all that stuff, you know? Wow. No, it looks like we both have the same problem, huh? Just a bigger or smaller, you know? I feel very unloved by the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't know, sometimes pressure is so great, so great. I can't even cry, I can't even tell anybody. It's not, you can't even pinpoint what it is. Huh? So we are all in the wrong planet, you know? Me too, yeah? So that's the reason you feel like that. It's not just a mother, it's just, it's just a reason. Just a reason. Ask them, all of them. Do they even feel any uh, more happy just because their parents uh, so-called love them? It's not necessary. They have all the things. They may feel well, their husband don't love them, their boss don't love them, their children don't love them, their cat don't love them. <laughs> A lot of stuff, yeah.
or the initiate don't love them, the the fellow initiate don't love them, or harass them, the hoof hour was too harsh, the microphone lousy, yeah, all kind of things. <laughs> Are you cramped? You can go back, sit comfortable, okay. <laughs> Don't worry, I love you at least, okay? One person loves you, that's enough, okay? Enough. You are just too sensitive, you know? Too sensitive. 